Well, hello, and welcome back to Mutineer Zero, Road to Eden, here on Buto Plays Whatever. In a previous episode, we tied up some loose ends. Uh, we found Hammond. He was just in a bunker, and that took like 10 minutes. And then I was just like, you know, we went back to Izenfala, took care of those dogs, see what they had, and that was okay. And then we went back to something that's been on my mind since the very beginning, the Metal Bird, to check out what those hoodlums had. Not worth on that one. Not worth at all. Uh... But today, we're going to go back on schedule. It's like, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do something after those, but it had been another hour-long conquest. And so it would have been like an hour and a half episode, even though a lot of these do run pretty long, because let's face facts. The shit's hard. <laughs> it's like, it's, uh, it's hard. This isn't even the hardest mode. This is like, it's supposed to be normal. What is, what's up with this game? Uh, I love it though. Uh, let's head on down. We don't need to buy anything. I got five health packs. I feel we're good. Um, so let's head on down here. I don't recall wasting any bombs, but we'll check our inventory real quick before we do head on down over here as well. Being on high ground increases your defense and hit chance. Really? Hmm. I've been aching to know what's going on with this bird head. Uh, quick inventory check though. Uh, so you got bombs, you got an EMP, you got a Molotov, you got bombs. Okay, so we're good to go here. Uh, everybody's well suited on out um, as well. So, where do we need to head to Mysteriousness, which is going to be down over here? I've been wondering about this bird head. This bird head fellow. So let's go check it on out. I hope everybody's having a good day. Yeah. I'm on my vacation, y'all, recording this. There might be some noise in the background. They have been doing a little bit of work today. And, well, this is a weird way to go. So, down to question marks. Okay. Reach Eden. Yeah, no, that's not... We're not doing that today. We need some more weapon parts upgrades, though. So, where where are we at? What's this place? The Grog Den. So what is this showing on my map? Does it give me any kind of alerts or anything? No, it's just bad. That's about okay. Grog. Yeah, that's Grog. Guaranteed. Up ahead. Mm, smells good. Real good. Grog. Like the drink Grog? Or this, this must be something I don't know about. Hammond told me about this place. He called it the Grog Den. The ancients used to brew magic grog here, he said. <laughs> I could use a little grog right now. Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's a drink. So what do we got going on over here? I'm imagining dogs. It seems like a doggish area. Oh, I saw something back over there. Oh, just something glowing, okay. So let's do a perimeter check. There is no perimeter. It is what it is. So... Give what me do more we of have, that grog. I want a party till my head goes boom. Enough of that grog. We need to baptize the zone with old man fire. We need to make more fire bombs now. We've got a mountain of fire bombs over there. You want to make more? I want to burn it all. Not some. Oh, burn it all. Okay, so we got pyros. Two pyros? Is that all I'm spying? With my little eye, there has to be more. So where's this guy going? He's just gonna go. He's just gonna walk right there. Not too far of a distance. And I'd really like three more, three more weapon parts to get my last bit of upgraded oh, machinery. Medbot. Medbot, where are you going, little buddy? Are you just gonna isolate yourself? That's cute. Let's go ahead and save. Um, let's go ahead and save right here. That seems fine. So, um, let's see if we can't get uh, a nice little ambush. So, we need Borman to open this on up. What's my shot percent right here? 75? And if I walk right here, it's 100%. We can do this. Nice. Feel that. that did not work. So we're just going to load again. 
<laughs> We're just gonna load again. Not even messing around. Like if I if I can't bring him down the first one, I'll just reload it. I got a 50-50 chance. So it's it's the way it is. Okay. Ambush again. To Borman. 100%. Give me a 50-50 shot. I didn't get it again. I'm just not getting it. Can I be heard? Is there anybody around here? I mean, I could unload on this guy. I guess it's worth a shot. So nobody heard me. The enemy heard me. What's my shot percent? Can I get a hundred percent? Thank you. I'm feeling I'm gonna have to reload this. Let's see. Hey there. Okay, yep, this isn't working. Well, wait, let's see how this plays out. Who else is over here? Okay, so I got two pyros. I got... Overwatch. They're all pyros? I got a hunter. Overwatch. A couple of hunters. Okay. So it's just a bunch of pyros and hunters. Which isn't hard. They got some health. They got some health. Um, so... Let us try this again. I just need... I just need one... One EMP shot, bro. You have a 50-50 chance. And I'm just not getting it. <sighs> this is making this rather difficult. Like, was that the third one? I mean, you know, you guys are kind of skewing my numbers here. Kind of, kind of skewing my numbers. I mean, hell, I even have a 40% crit chance. Want some more? <sighs> Whatever. We'll waste an EMP. I am not in the mood for this. Again. Who's shooting? Magnus is shooting? Let's go reload. Let's go reload. Where's my 100%? 100% with a 5% chance to crit. He's not hidden, so I guess that makes sense. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Enough of that guy. <laughs> that was cool, though. Come on. What do you got for me here, little buddy? Hey, med kit. That's not bad. Okay, so <gasps> purple. Prip's gonna be so jealous. Look at these grog makers. They're huge. Grog milker. 
suggestively designed system for the rationing of grog. Play with the little bits and cool liquid is delivered to this thirsty recipient. Chronicler, Hippocantus. Odd. It smells a bit like grog. What would this be used for? It is used to give me an upgrade of my choice. So, now the big debate comes along. What do I want to upgrade? Look at this little camper on over here. Walking out all by him lonesome self. Not a, not a care in the world. He's a freaking pyro. I feel like we can just straight up... I mean, there's not that many. Is that a robot over there? Weapon parts. There's my next upgrade. I kind of want to jump back and get that upgrade. Just to have a shot at taking these guys out silent style. And I can also get... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Slight, slight detour. So, slight detour. I just want to want to try some things here. I want to try to do this as stealthily as possible. This isn't going to be too hard of a mission. It's just positioning. And it's like I just want to make sure that I can possibly do what it is I need to do. So, let's head on over to... Um, not Prips. Was it Prips? Okay, the Fix Pit first. Welcome to the Fix Pit. Yeah, My I understand. Delta. So I got level 3, level 3, and then the last silence one, level 3. Boom. With that crit chance, I love it. Did I get anything out of all this? No, I didn't. Keep your so that's all there on. is to that. So, 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 so. Prip, my man. Pull up a stool, stalkers. All the questions. What do I want? This 10 additional crit chance against living creatures sounds really good. And the med kit as well. That I don't care about. Mule, no. I'm our, that's off the board. But there's three extra hit points per respawn would be really good but this 10 extra crit chance man this 10 extra crit chance man would be putting me up into some good spots and that's what I want to do I want more crit more Cheers. crit give me all the crit okay back to the matters at hand back to the grog down now that we have more crit, more silence damage, whilst hidden. I mean, these guys got some power. These guys got some some major crit chance. So, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to pull this off. Super silent, like man, super silent. Okay, we're, we're freaking ninjas. We may not look like it, but we're all ninjas. Even the warthog. A warthog, a duck. And a psychic all walk into a grog den. You finish you finish the joke. Finish it for me. Okay, so we already know one guy's gonna wander off over here. So we're gonna set our ambush on over here. Give me this first grab. But I think up in here we can definitely get a good hide spot and just rail down. The barn definitely seems to be the better of the areas as far as railing down damage is concerned. And this guy, he's going to wander on over here. And we got a lot of nice places to hide from. How close does he get? So that's where he stops at. So we can get one guy on a barrel, another guy on a barrel, and one guy on the other side of that doghouse. Is that a doghouse? Kind of looks like it. Okay, so save. Let's okay, go ahead and split up. Out. Duke's gonna hide right there. He's gonna hide right there. 
And can I hide right here? Let's see if this works. I don't... I think he'll be seen. I think. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. For certain. You know, let's go ahead and... We'll save, we'll save in a different spot, though. Come on, little buddy. He's juking and jiving to himself. Or is it this... Is it this other guy this whole entire time? Who who makes the roundabout over here? As we stealthily watch our enemies. Oh, so it's just the one guy. Okay, he has a hell of a route. So is he going to see him? No. So right about there. I have a 90% chance of a crit. Oh my god! Don't get stupid! Oh my god! Oh, baby! 50% chance of a crit. And 60% chance of a crit. I mean, I don't even need it, but. Not too shabby. Very nice. Hey, Better regroup. Follow me. And that was the whole point, man. All that crit. All that crit. Give me that Molotov. Uh, didn't I have? Where, where's my mute? Not map mutations. Doubles crit critical chance. Okay, so just doubles critical chance. Uh, okay. What is, uh... How many points are we up to? Five? Oh, there's the skull splitters. 100% critical chance. Okay. And this guy. Double critical chance shooting. Yeah, his was 90%. 90% chance of a critical shot. That's freaking ridiculous. Okay. So. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> this overlord is watching this guy. It's fire loving pyros. Listen to me. Don't light those Molotovs near the grog. We'll all go kaboom. Yeah, yeah, ghoul. Taste the fumes, ghoul. <laughs> Gonna light the flame to make the phoenix burn. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, keep the fires in your pants, or I'll smash your brains in. I tell That's them I don't work with pyro ghouls, and they give me pyro ghouls. Jacked up hotheads. Okay. So, is this guy gonna walk now? Because usually when they have a talk, somebody does some walking afterwards. Maybe not this time. That's something I've learned. If they start talking, somebody's going to start a walking. So you just got to get within earshot. So let's, uh, let's see what else we can kind of sneak upon. Get some easy shots on in. So we got this hunter walking over here. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. So he's going to go lonesome by himself over here. And he's going to set himself up to be um, massacred. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, more. 15 weapon parts. 15 weapon parts. So let's go ahead and give a save. I'm going to save right there. And then let's go ahead and uh, split up. up. So. Um, how... One guy hiding right here. 
One guy hiding right here. One guy hiding right here? Where did that, uh, where did that one guy go? Oh, he goes on a little detour, too. How close does he get to me? Eh, reasonably close. I might have to reposition these guys. Just a teensy bit. Where'd that hunter go? He must have a hell of a route. It might be easier to get him on the opposite side. Is my thought process. Okay, he's got a long ass route. Let's go save. Just so I don't get stuck over here. Just in case. This will give me some reaction time. So, these guys should have a pretty decent shot at this guy. <laughs> I'm not going to be seen. At least as far as I know. So, right about... I mean, it's kind it's funny that he's hidden like that. These guys don't have a shot at him. Maybe we do now. 50% chance of a crit. Didn't get it. Duke says a 60% chance of a crit. Very nice. Seventy-five percent chance with a nine percent chance of a crit. Beautiful. Great work. Indeed. Move out. Go regroup. All this crit, baby. All this crit. I really wish I could get another crit cap. That would really make me happy. Okay, easy peasy, the lemon squeezy. Getting all that crit. Getting the crit. Huh. Paper. I don't see much of that anymore. So, we got a chest. Give me a crit cap. That's not a crit cap. That's a lot of damage. A rapid fire enclave laser weapon with tremendous destructive capability. Oh, baby. I'll take that. Some broken electronics. So where did that guy go? He's just gonna stand right there. Got a note. Fish Mods exclusive fixed gear to college industry fair trade beer company, organic and ethically oriented microbrewery with a fresh 80s post -vi punk vibe. Invoice number. Happy Gumpy Blockmaker. Antisocial Thet Rogue Regoer. Okay, lactose free. Vegan way, total excellent service, thank you. Alright, so I got one more hunter over here. And then the other guy. So we're down to three. This guy might be a little bit trickier. Look at Borman hiding over there in that window. How much health that guy got? He's got 24. I feel like we could set up a real nasty surprise for the old chief. Or this hunter. Okay, give me a save. Let's split us. Move out. Right there. I want to make sure 
have the best possible vantage point. So where does this guy go? Let's get out of his way. Oh, I got some high ground right there. So... You go on your way. Dukes is going to get to the high ground. We're going to set you up right there. And then Dukes is going to get to this high ground, man. Um, how do I get up there? There has to be a ladder somewhere, right? There's no ladder to get over there? Well, I guess if I had that ability... Yeah, I know they're over there. To leap up on tall buildings... It'd still be a problem because I wouldn't, still wouldn't be able to get up there. Okay. How do I want to do this? God, if you let me latch onto that, that'd be great. But it's not going to happen. Oh. Look at you. Alright, I think this is good as any. Sixty percent chance. That had to hurt. That's nine. <laughs> uh, and this guy's dead. Indeed. Come on. Regroup. Well played. Well played. Alright, so we are down to two. I wish there was a way to get up here. There should be. You'd, I think there would be a way. Maybe not. I think the scrap though. So we're going to ambush the hell out of this guy right here. I feel... Like, this shouldn't even be difficult. One guy, one guy, and one guy behind this tree. So let's go ahead and split up. I need one guy right here. I need... Dukes, can you not... I mean, that seems rather obvious, but still. I mean, really? You can't hide on this side? I feel a little bit better. And I didn't save. We're gonna save. In a new save slot. Alright. Sixty percent chance. Does that hurt? Point blank. One. Oh, he needs to crit. I mean, it doesn't matter if we're heard. Sleep with him. Oh, man, right, he's peasy. Follow me. Regroup. Red eye. <gasps> More crit? More crit for me! Give me the crit! <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. I think Dukes is going to get that. All right, so we have this one lone pyro. Let's just save right there. One lone pyro. This poor guy. This poor, this poor, poor man. Uh, you feel kind of bad for him, right? 100% chance of a crit. This is going to hurt. 
12 damage. Can I even shoot him from here? Oh, yeah. Got you. Two shots. <laughs> oh, my God. Regroup. Okay, and that's that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Kind of a shorter thing. I mean, is there another route I should know about? No? Doesn't look like it. So just a grog den. Just some journal experience. Um, and a purple. That was nice. Give me that extra crit, baby. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about the crit. Gotta have that crit. And I think, you know, learning. Learning this game. Definitely would have made it a lot easier right off the get-go if I had gone that route. You know, a lot of these missions have been su super freaking rough. But if, if I wouldn't have wasted the 30 damn gun thing for Bormir's shotgun and just held off for a little bit, then it would have been in much better condition. So give me this tool scrap. What else you guys got for me here? Do I get to examine anything? Molotovs. Lots of Molotovs. This is oh, here's the investigation. Firework show. Looks like the pyro ghouls a whole arsenal. Alright, so we got a ton of Molotovs. I don't use them very often. They just don't... I mean, they're cool, but they just don't deal enough damage. It's all about crits and damage, man. That's it. It's all that matters in this world. That's all I care about. Live and die by the crit. So we're just going to rack up all the little things. What else do we have to offer around here? Anything else good? Anything else somewhat decent? Dukes, why are you... Why are you up there still, Dukes? Freaking duck. He's just over the hide still. It's not over yet. Yeah, it's over, bro. It's over. All the ghouls are dead. No more ghouls. I don't see... No. Oh, somehow this escaped my gaze. Give me that crit, 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 crit. Yeah, not diff not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I think we've explored pretty much all of this. And we're just going to have to head, I think there's one last spot, like upstairs of here. Right? Isn't that the one place I haven't gone? I didn't walk up here. I know there's a ladder. So let's walk on up here. See if there's anything else for me to have. No. Kind of a crappy vantage point, too. Ugh. Just a barn loft. Okay, so I think that's it. One quick little check. And... Okay. Don't know where you're falling from. Whatever. But we're good to go. Okay. Easy peasy. So, the Grog Den. Pretty reasonably easy area um we'll head back to the ark let's see if the old man has anything to say after the grog den incident oh really mad pat puts out fire good to know a little late in the game uh so let's go to the fix pick don't just stand there you need a fix hush your mouth girl so what do i have on here so i have the site gives me 20 weapon range. This gives me 15 hit chance. Oh, weapon range over hit chance. I mean, when we're ambushing, we're all relatively close anyway. I mean... That's a lot of crit. I'm losing two range. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a that's a trade. That's a trade I can make. So what do you have on yours? Okay, this is a range and a crit chance. This is ridiculous. Bormir's rocking that thing. I guess he needs it. I mean he has better range than freaking than my other guy right now let's go ahead unequip that 
head over here. Give him that on the bow. Because Bormer has to be up close. He's, he's running with a shotgun as a secondary. So I always have him closer. Anyway, so this will give him an extended a bit of crit. This thing is rocking a whole lot more crit. And a little bit of extra range. So that's good. Okay, so we are... Who has... You don't have anything as far as a scope on your Rambino, bro? How dare? You can go ahead and add that on there. I didn't even know. Good to know now. Okay, so everybody has their sights, gun sights and everything set. We're all good here. You have a red eye on your Rambino, bro? How the hell? Who else has what on what? Yeah, I just attached that. What do you have on your shotgun? Just weapon range. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. And then what else do we have we picked on up? Okay, the boomstick. The old scatter gun, pipe gun, the gapper. That was a mistake. Mistakes were made. I could dismantle? Wait a minute. Where, what gun am I on? So wait, can I just dismantle this? This is equipped? Oh, Selma. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. I did. Oh my god. <laughs> what good? Dismantle all of this. This is junk. Garbage. Pleh. Spit. I spit on the slinger. Oh, baby. God, god damn, man. Yeah, just dismantle this. This garbage. How much do I get if I dismantle this? Man, I lost out a lot on that. I really did. So, what do I have as far as my secondaries are concerned? So, Selma has the Stinger and the State Switcher. Farrah has a Boomstick. She could also rock this Elysium if I ever. I don't know if they're going to have something planned for later on. Like I'm assuming it's just going to be a three man party all the way. Is my thought is my thought process. Okay. But oh baby doll, man. Jesus. So, who what do I want to upgrade? I got one fat upgrade. So, all my silenced weapons are upgraded. Um Should we upgrade Magnus's gun, man? I mean, Look at that crit! Look at that crit! Oh... It's like, who's a better shot? I think Dukes is a better shot. We'll upgrade Dukes's. Dukes is Rambino. These Rambinos are savage. Yep, yeah, let's do that. All right, cool beans. So level three on that. Not knowing my future is a little bit worrisome though. So I want to kind of hold on to a couple of these things in case I have to equip them later on. I mean, we do have a couple, we have two boomsticks, but Pharaoh's using the one. I don't know, Take it but that's easy. good to know. Interesting, okay, cool beans. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be end in the episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment on down below, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, when we come back, we took out the Grog Den. Um, I want to want to kind of head up north and check out Moosehead over here before we come on down and start the Castle of Light and the Unenlightened uh, after that. And then we'll eventually we'll head down south, kind of like so. So yeah, I think we're going to ch check out this uh, this zone right over here and see what's cracking. Take care of some business. Hopefully get some good scraps, more gunmetal parts and everything like that. I think that's the, the way I want to kind of roll with that. So with that being said, yeah, that's going to be it for today. So until next time, everybody, you take it easy.
and I'll see you around. Peace. <laughs>